the standard of dress for adults in North America is way too casual. The casualization of the Western wardrobe has been going on for decades, and I definitely am not suggesting some sort of return to 1900-1950s fashion where you have to wear a suit or long dress every day. However, the hyper-casual nature of post-2019 fashion is going way too far IMO. I think it's a real shame that adults have regressed our standards to match those of children teenagers. If you're 30, you shouldn't be wearing the same things as a 13 years old. It's now commonplace for people to wear street clothes into work. I see teachers at school wearing jeans and a t-shirt, people showing up to an office in a hoodie and distressed denim, and wearing beanies and caps indoors. You go to a public building like the mall, library, museum, etc. and you'll find people in pajamas. I would strongly encourage anyone especially if you're over 25-30 to reflect upon your wardrobe and the message you're projecting. Showing up to an office in a hoodie and distressed denim. I see you went to a startup on formal Mondays. Welp. This is the subreddit for you. I'd agree if you were talking about everyone wearing sweatpants all he time, but jeans are okay in most situations. The problem with more formal clothes is cleaning and ironing. Casual wear is just easier to maintain. I don't want to wear anything that needs to be dry cleaned or ironed on a regular basis. Cost is also higher. Casual clothes are cheaper. And in my area, more formal clothes are just too hot. It's 90F for a third of the year. One year it was 100F for three months. My hoodie has buttons, so it's business casual. LMAO this truly is an unpopular opinion. I think it's a real shame that adults have regressed our standards to match those of children teenagers. I wear clothes from my teenage year still because I'm poor LMAO I don't have money to update my wardrobe nor the time to care about what message I'm projecting. The thing is, people's new outward appearance is their social media. Going to work, or school, whatever, that's not the world we need to feel validated in anymore. Teacher here. Pay me a professional's wage and I'll put on slacks. Until then, jeans it is. I'm over 25 and I've just reflected on the message I'm sending and it's that I'm comfortable as fuck and confident about it. I'm all for aesthetic, conservative clothing. The problem is a lot of it is incredibly uncomfortable. Even standard Oxford shirts and khakis I find abrasive on my skin and body. So I still prefer cotton t-shirts, jackets with soft fabrics, knit sweaters. I would wear suits and formal wear more if it was just more comfortable. I'm reflecting on it but I haven't seen you make a single logical argument for why anyone should care about your preferred arrangement of fabric. Reflect upon your wardrobe and the message you're projecting. I want to be comfy. HM Yip. I live in the northwest I will go out to get lunch during work and I'm dressed in engineer casual button-up shirt tucked into jeans with tennis shoes and next in line behind me at the restaurant there will be a guy in a Mario t-shirt who probably earns 4x what I make working for some tech company that makes an app or some nonsense. But hey more power to them. Less power to me womp womp. I see teachers at school wearing jeans and a t-shirt. The audacity. Classification communicates more about the classifier than the classified. Pierre Bourdieu. To reflect upon your wardrobe and the message it reflects. Pajamas at Walmart pretty much equals my depressive state. We are dressing to reflect we're just not happy. I never understood the no-hat inside rule I always thought it meant that God can't read your thoughts inside when I was little. I like to project I don't care what you think. You do you. I'm 40 and a manager at a clothing store at a mall. We had pajama day at work there last Saturday. Yes, I wore pajamas at work. Yes, over half of my co-workers did the same. Loved it. Wish we could do it more often. Go ahead and judge me. Nah, prioritize comfort. Me and my alopecia bald head will be keeping my beanies till I die. 
So you want me to wear more formal clothes in a lab with chemicals to get holes in my clothes, yeah no way. Or when I'm in a pilot plant and get vegetable oil all over me, yeah not going to happen. Your fantasy does not work for all professions or is reasonable. You've got something right. This is an unpopular opinion. I want to see more casual wardrobes going forward. I find it super weird that sports broadcasters and personalities are wearing suits for no real reason on TV. Kinda feels like nothing but a big waste of money. Outward appearance not equal to ability to contribute to society. That's some peak boomer energy. The best data analyst I've ever met had tattoos from ear to fingers and smelled of Newports. Makes $120,000 a year. You can pry my hoodies out of my cold dead hands. Dress codes have always been a form of social control and financial gatekeeping of opportunities. What you see as regression is freedom of choice. That's the beauty of choice no one is being forced to dress casually. You want to rock formal wear or business casual. Go for it. But don't go pushing your aesthetic preferences onto others when they have real-world historical consequences. I think it's dope. I guess the message I'm projecting is that I prioritize being comfortable and being myself instead of trying to fit in some weird made-up social standards that are long outdated. Some jobs require dress codes, I get that. But don't expect a software engineer or call center agent to dress up for human interaction they don't have. And by the way back in the 1900s kids did pretty much dress like adults dresses and suits. Or adults dressed like kids. People who'd get a negative opinion of me if I don't wear a suit aren't people I care enough about to want to impress with the way I dress. I love that people are wearing clothes that are comfortable for them and that there isn't a stigma towards expensive clothing that isn't very practical. Pay me more than 23 hours for better fits. Beanie or cap on indoors. Me and you would not get along. How old are you? I get it's unpopular opinion but this is one of the more ridiculous opinions I've seen on here. So you bought a few thrift store suits and now you think you are better than everyone else and need to strongly encourage people to do the same. Good for you but get off your high horse. How one dresses up means next to nothing. For example Zuckerberg built an empire wearing a hoodie. I have to laugh at this a bit. I'm a lawyer. Had a great day at work today in my black hoodie, Carhartt beanie and Adidas running shoes. Thinking back to the old days when I wore slacks and a button-up. Just would not have been the same great day in the slacks and button-up. I stopped reading at Western Skull. So sick of seeing comfortable people. And that affects you, how? Most of the time clothes have no bearing on your job performance. Students don't learn more because the teacher ironed their pants before coming in. Teacher here. You want me to dress like a professional then pay me like one. These casual clothes are also cheaper and can be used more frequently. Economics preferences. Turns out when you need to own the same clothes for 15 years it alters wardrobe. Sure but you wanna buy them for me? If not fuck off I'll buy what I like and wear it. I would strongly encourage you to reflect on why it matters. Also this feels more like a need to control others' habits choices than an unpopular opinion. Laughs in legging comfort with an empty bucket fucks to spare. I am an athlete. I wear running shoes, leggings, and sports bras most of the time. I've done some reflecting as suggested and have realized I am projecting an athletic vibe. Imagine that. The one of the few things I actually like about America. I know good clothing, aesthetic and looking professional is important but that's when you have a very end job or have meet people regular physically. Believe me it gaff about aesthetics unless I'm going on a date or going to meet some high-end client. 90 of the time I'm in shorts and large t-shirt cause it's bloody comfortable, even in the winters. What economic class was OP born into and where do they work now? What fucking loser cares about the message they project? How about be comfy and enjoy yourself?